Well, today we commemorate Human Rights Day in South Africa and uh, the Sharpeville Massacre of 1960, in which 69 people died, is commemorated annually on this day. On the 21st of March, 1960, apartheid police fired, uh, uh, opened fire on people who were protesting against the pass laws in Sharpeville, south of Gauteng. Let's cross out to our reporter in Tlantla Khatlane, who is in Sharpeville, for more on what's happening day, by way, uh, to, uh, what's happening there today by way of celebrations or commemorations in uh, some instances. So in Tantla, good morning. And of course, uh, you know, at uh, the scene, uh, the site where it all happened, uh, tell us about what's happening there today. Well, a very good morning to you, Sakina. Well, indeed, yes, this is the last resting place for about 69 uh, black people who perished before the hands of the brutal apartheid uh, regime about 63 years ago. Like you already said that, you know, um, they were against the past laws, but in general, just, you know, uh, black people were being against the government of the day, being ill-treated and they were tired. That much was, amongst others, led by, uh, you know, uh, the founding member of uh, uh, PAC. But together here we know that uh, the PAC has come in collaboration with Azapo, which also follows uh, the philosophy of uh, Steve Biko, uh, the father of black consciousness. But with us here, we're going to talk to us with regards to the significance of, you know, uh, continuing to celebrate, you know, uh, such a day. It's been 63 years since uh, the 63, 69 people rather uh, perished before the hands of the apartheid regime just for protesting for what they believe that uh, you know was done wrong to them. Uh, I'm going to bring in uh, the PAC's uh, Secretary General, uh, Mr. Boyer. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Talk to us about the significance of you know uh, celebrating today. For us, as the Pan Africanist Congress of Hazania PAC. We come here every year to commemorate because when you commemorate you do it in a very solemn way for us we always remember what had happened here this was the turning on the 1960 21st march it was the turning point of our history in this country as a result of the sacrifices that were made by these people who are lying here we are here, here today having uh, what do we the right to vote as a result of their contribution to the struggle with their lives we've had many people who were arrested on that day we had many people who were killed we had many people who went to robben island we had many people went to exile as a result of these comrades who are lying here who are buried here it was as a result of this day that all political uh, parties the liberation movements were banned so together with asapo we pay homage to our fallen matthias by solemnly commemorating their contribution to the struggle against apartheid talking about you know their sacrifices 29 years of democracy 63 years ago black people took a stand against the injustices that they faced against the government of the day we saw yesterday you guys joining a march with the eff going to register your concerns just talk to us with regards to the difference of um, government then to today especially heeding to the calls of ordinary black people uh, for us as the pac and azapo the struggle continues the same situation that many of our Africans were faced with is the current situation that they are still faced with. We still don't have the land, we still are not in control of the economy. Our education system is in shutters, people are unemployed, there's a lot of misery that is happening in this country. So uh, we need to rededicate and reconfirm our commitment to what all liberation struggles stood for, not what we see today. As you correctly pointed out yesterday, indeed we were part of the march that is for us a continuation of the struggle. We're part of making sure that we get rid of uh, the current state president who has proven to be very uh, corrupt as a result of a uh, pala pala uh, a farm scandal as we all know. We also know that there is a lot of money that the current government is charging. We also know that our people are suffering because of the systems and the, uh, that, that this government is, is advocating for. And as the PAC and Azapo, we always uh, are with the Africans. In a nutshell, uh, do you guys as the PAC looking at what you have went to, the party of Sobuk, I believe that you also played a certain role in terms of failing South Africans. 
We, we played a very important, significant role, both as PAC and ASAPO. As you, when you started, you indicated the contribution that was made by Steve Biko, the contribution that was made by Robert Sobuku. Robert Sobuku was the only political leader who was imprisoned in Robben Island in isolation. He's the only leader that the parliament had to sit and declare that they should be Sobuku laws, which will incarcerate him forever. So the PAC continues to play that role. We are the vanguard movement of the African people. We continue to advance that the land remains central and their land should be returned to the African people. Thank you so much. That was Apapo, Secretary General of uh, the PAC, just talking to us about the significance of continuing to commemorate this day. Also talking there about Robert Sobuka saying, you know, uh, that he was in isolation. If you remember, in a nutshell, uh, Sakina, he, he remains to be uh, regarded as one, be, one person who was really, really feared uh, by uh, the apartheid government. Hence, he was in isolation. But with that being said, it's back to you in studio.